Okay, we're back. So I didn't end up videotaping everything just because part of it was just monotonous, but um, got the interior done. Got all that, and now I'm dry fitting all the foam pieces and cutting them to the size I need. Uh, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it together. Uh, I did have a window I got, but I'm gonna put everything together, then put the window in, and then go ahead and uh, put on the tarp with the uh, wood glue and kind of go from there and see uh, how it all fits together. So one thing to note when you're cutting uh, foam with the table saw, which works really well, uh, wear a mask because <laughs> there is foam freaking everywhere. Last thing you want is uh, pink lung. That's right. Now, just a few safety things to keep in mind. First of all, look straight ahead when you ski. If you look down, you're going to fall. You're going to have a bad time. New disease are just made up. Pink lung. Don't, don't do it with uh, cutting uh, foam. <laughs> okay, we got all our pieces cut. Got everything pretty much dry fit for all the sides. It's all cut and dry fit. Uh, on the bottom here, I'm probably just gonna put on pieces. That won't be an issue, I'll just stick pieces on there. Um, but here, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, gluing it on and pray for the best. So, I'm gonna use some good old liquid nail. Kinda go from there. Okay, so we have basically everything foamed now. Got the, the wall schmoo on here. It's got some joint compound. Hopefully it'll kind of work. And then on the inside here, I got some joint tape all the way inside. Got all the foam done. All the bottom foam's done. Got the ceiling tacked on now. Um, so our next step is going to be finishing uh, mudding everything else. And then go ahead and cutting, sanding, you know, doing all the rest. Um, kind of making it all look kind of even, fill this in, sand it, and then uh, go ahead and cover it. And tomorrow I'm actually picking up the door that's going to be in the back, so we'll go ahead and do that as well. Alright, so we're going to start doing some of our fabric here. Um, I'm going to use this, this is my tarp, but I'm going to start using this for some of the joints on the sides here, kind of trim that up. And I'm just going to kind of start and start kind of going back. Alright, so here's stage one of fiberglassing, or for, poor man's fiberglassing, the, uh, the trailer. Uh, so right now I'm stage one here, I'm just doing the corners. This is already starting to get nice and you can hear a difference too, like, it's already like hardening up. I'm not too worried that this has some creases in it, I'm just doing this to kind of strengthen our corners um, and kind of give them the best you know, kind of the best chance I can. I'm gonna hit that back up. Um, but it's already sticking really well. Like you're not, like you're really not peeling it off. Um, so these are actually <laughs> our old, uh, I think some old uh, curtains <laughs> that I stole out of the garage. So just sacrificing those, uh, saving some money because tarp isn't uh, isn't the cheapest thing in the world. So or that canvas drop cloth isn't cheap. But right now I'm just kind of hitting this right now with some cheap cloth and uh, kind of going from there just but right now just to strengthen this up and then after that hit it again uh, with the full canvas but this I'm right now using tight bond 2 um, since that is a uh, exterior adhesive it's doing pretty well uh, but I probably will cut it with some water because it's pretty thick it's not super it's like $17 but I'll probably cut it with some water so it's a little bit thinner but Otherwise, it's going really well so far. Um, I'm actually really impressed how hard that makes it. But yeah, it'll be really good once I put that, I think I have 10 ounce, I think over there I have the 10 ounce uh, canvas that I'm gonna use. But yeah, uh, so, I'll, so I'm gonna finish here and I'm gonna start work my way all around the top just so we can kind of get all the seams done. And uh, go from there. All right, so we got the front corner done. Uh, once again, uh, just kind of, this won't be the final, this is just getting the, uh, what is it? I'm saying missed a couple of pieces there. Uh, it's just going and 
making sure that the corners are going to be as strong as possible, especially the front, since it's going to be taking the brunt of, you know, a lot of the forces that are going to be hitting us. So the more we can give it, the better. So that's pretty much done. It's already tacking up, kind of got it over the top edge with the roof. Um, so that's coming along nicely. Uh, so I actually ended up, once I got through like one fourth of the bottle, I actually cut it with some water to really help with uh, the viscosity and that's helping. It's not gonna hurt it. Um, it's dissolvable by water. So thus water is the solvent which exists in it. So adding water to it isn't gonna hurt it. It's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna do anything. Tack it down a little bit. Uh, it's, it's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, with it, the only thing it's gonna do is thin it out a little bit, give you a little bit more product. Cause I mean, it goes on really thick. Um, it's extremely thick. And it, for this, it doesn't have to be super thick and it's not the cheapest. I think it's like $14 for a gallon, which isn't horrible. Uh, but you know, if you can extend that a little bit, it's fine and you don't need it uber thick. Um, cause you're pretty much just impregnating the material with it to get it to stick. Uh, also I've seen guys, go ludicrous with how they do this and to make it stick they're like you need to sand it and you need to do stuff no this can't even, can't even pull that up this stuff sticks super well to this without having any preparation so you guys don't need you don't need to sand it you don't need to prep it in any way you can already you can already it's already hardening up really well this kind of fluffed up a little bit but this is my first attempt not super worried about it. Um, like I said, this is gonna be under canvas anyway, but it's already hardening nice. Um, it already is hard. I'm really already impressed by what this is doing. Um, and this is with a very thin material, so just imagine, you know, a 10 ounce uh, canvas. But I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna move on to the sides here, uh, pull all this crap off the top and start uh, doing the top edge on both sides. All right, so good news is we have the one side, we got that all sealed. Can't see it in here. I have not sealed this part just because the front part's gonna go on there and I just wanna leave it as a kind of porous material just so that it'll stick better for the front and as it goes over the top, so I'm not gonna do that part. So I'm in preparation of doing the other side of the trailer. I need to go ahead and finish sanding it. However, little little tiny problem is my extension cord which is somewhere over there is not long enough to reach from the house to the trailer and the trailer is really freaking heavy and I really don't want to move it or flip it around um, if I don't have to so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my extension cord and hook it up to my inverter this is my it's Potec 500 watt inverter and I'm just hooking it straight to the battery and then running it and should have more than enough power to run my sander. So I can quickly go ahead and sand that and sand the other side before I go ahead and finish putting on the canvas on the other side of it. Okay, so our sanding was super successful. Got it all nicely sanded, nice and roughed up. Um, like I said before, you don't have to, but um, it definitely feels like it's a much, you know, it's a little bit smooth up here. Um, it's a very, it's a much rougher surface. I think it's going to stick a lot better. You could probably skip it, but you know, eh, why not? Didn't take you but two minutes doing it with, uh, uh, with a bot, with a uh, rotary sander. So not too bad. So now what I'm going to do is clean this off here with all the, a lot of dust and stuff from all the sanding and then go ahead and put the canvas on this side as well. Okay, so since I didn't videotape the first time, I'm gonna show you what I did to go ahead and get this entire piece of canvas on here, which is fairly large um, and kind of unwieldy. So uh, the first thing I did is you're gonna wanna go ahead and put it, cut it to size. Now, thankfully I got, I think what is, uh, I think it was like a 12 by 15, something ridiculous, like 12 by 15. Uh, and all my walls, of course, are like six foot, so, was able to cut that in half. Um, so I'm using the same, this is eight ounce canvas. Uh, the front, I'm gonna be using 10 ounce. This is an eight ounce canvas, which is your, I guess, like thickness. Um, and I took out the seams. So there's not a bunch of seams everywhere. 
I mean, if you don't mine them, it's fine, but the problem is it doesn't lay flat. I found out when you put, uh, when you glue down the edge, it's much easier if you don't have a seam. So thankfully I was able to get a big enough, you know, probably the biggest canvas I could find um, that would cover both sides without having to really deal with removing a seam and then having a seam in the middle and, you know, kind of putting in two pieces. Um, but the cool part about the canvas is too, it just rips. You don't need to cut it. Once you kind of start an edge, you can just pull it and rip it. And it's actually much easier to do than, uh, you know, putting a clean edge on it. Uh, you don't need to really worry about it. Uh, but anyway, basically the easiest way is to go ahead. I use uh, some, this is a 3M super duty, super duty duct tape, whatever you want to call it. Um, anything will do as long as it's going to hold this up. Because what we're going to do, once I have all this taped a little bit, enough to hold it. Uh, the back I'm going to rip because I'm actually going to, i got to finish the back end still. But I'm going to go ahead and roll all this up and then start uh, painting on the adhesive. Uh, and once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and press it down. Um, and then it's going to take all these wrinkles out. It's going to make it pretty flush. Um, probably going to pull a little bit just to get, you know, rid of some stuff here. But uh, once you start gluing it on, it you can get rid of the wrinkles pretty easily. It's not hard. Um, like I said, there's no reason... I mean, on a smaller one, you might, but it's so large and there's enough weight. And when you start really, you know, creasing it out, you know, it's like already, you know, I mean, we pull it taut, it's, you know, and it adheres almost instantly. Um, it sticks pretty quick. Um, and that was the first time why, well, the first time I did this, the reason why um, I didn't videotape it was because once you sand this, it tremendously increases the surface area of the foam under it. And it really, it absorbs a lot of glue, which is good, but you're going to lose a lot more glue than you did before. And I had to actually, since I didn't have a lot of time and it was a hot day today, it's quite cloudy. But the day I did this, which I think was Christmas Eve, it was much hotter and brighter. And so it dried really quick. So I actually had to lay it on pretty thick with a brush um, to go ahead and do that. But this time I have a roller. Um, it's cool. It's not too hot today. It's warm enough that it, I think it has to be above 60 somewhere around there i think above 60 degrees for the set uh but once again you're th setting it pretty thin you're not looking for a joint so you don't need to worry about that too much and hopefully praying to god it doesn't rain um we should be good to go and we'll start attaching this but basically what we're going to do is we're going to get this all taped up on the top we got it measured straight so it goes uh just down to the frame down there and we're going to go ahead lift this up do this entire area with glue pretty quick and then pull it down and start putting it down and then we'll lift this part up and tape it and then we start gluing that. So let's go ahead and start with that.
I'm sorry I couldn't film smoothly in and out, like it's taking off a lot of working time, but like I said, honestly, once you stick it on there, there's a little bit of ribs just because of where some of the panels come together, but it, it uh, as long as you pull it tight, it'll take them right out. So it's already stuck to it. Got it. Stick in the, let's stick on these panels here, but. Yeah, like I said, it's already, you know, it's already sticking pretty well. Uh, I just gotta glue up this edge a little bit, but otherwise all of it's pretty much stuck. Um, it's all nice and flat too, so yeah. It takes a little bit, but if you get it on right and roll it down, it'll go on in one piece. Uh, no issue, absolutely no issue, so.